Ah, alright, time for another um dark uh not dark souls. Clear sky recording. This time I'll try to get through most of the cordon, if not all of it. I don't know how long the cordon takes anymore. Gotta hope I can find some better weapons. Like a AK variant would be nice. But we'll see. We'll see how nice the game is. So we have a decent amount of ammo for my um yeah, I have 240 rounds of 762. Shit. Actually, I don't know. Would it be? This might actually be SKS type of rounds, which is gonna be a little too heavy. If you got something to say, say it. Well, well actually, if an SKS would be bad at this point. Kind of be like playing through. Let's check my settings. Playing through Clear Sky again. So far, Arsenal. I think I've only played with this though. But I do like Arsenal overall a lot for Clear Sky for Call of Pripyat. It's a bit hit and miss. I know I got a comment like about me calling the minigun bad, but I just feel like it's. For a handheld weapon, it's just so heavy. Slap that shit on. A trick or something, Sembench. Yes, that it's a really good good gun. I feel like for just like running around, it takes a little bit of the stock. Oh, the enemy is beating up on fellow stalkers. That's gonna be hard, but... They're killing our guys, what are you? Now we'll give him hell for sure. Hello. <laughs> the best spot to hide behind. Uh, yeah, if I could get one of their weapons. That'd be amazing. I also had to quickly turn around my um, headphones. <coughs> Excuse me. Because here, yeah, for some reason, the side that I think is the right side is it just switched, so I kind of screwed myself over a little bit. Help, man. The army's beating up on fellow stalkers. <laughs> now we'll give them hell for sure. Okay, uh, so I need to find an SKS or AK-47. Nah. So take it. So one backup med kit so far. For the, I mean, again, better stuff is better stuff. Like the, the shotguns are great. I love how strong the double barrels are in this game. Not something that irked me about the. I'll take this and just drop this so the stash disappears. Like I felt in like the vanilla games, the shotgun. Don't just stand there twiddling your thumbs. Go to the base. 
they felt a little weakish. I mean, I might have just been playing it wrong. It's go for me, they felt weakish, but I might just be messing it up. Might give me all of this. I'm gonna take the macro from or not macro fronts. Whatever runs they used in um, the PP and the Tokarev pistols. Actually, I actually don't know if they have the PP and um, Arsenal Ball. I don't think so. But I'm not entirely sure about that either. Like, there's a lot of things that I'm not sure about that are like. Man, if I don't for you a long time. like don't see the something, stats. it's that I. Uh, Probably played it different or did something wrong, so take my opinions for the grain of salt. But then again, there are also just opinions. What can I do you for? Let me sell you. Do have a decent amount of. I'm gonna sell them this one for now. Um, well, I'm gonna keep the bandages in case I need some. I can't buy anything in it. I don't know why I even looked at it. Okay, to find something at 150 rod should be enough. Stash some of this. Some big chunk of a. Got something to sell? That one. Nice doing business with an honest stalker. Mm. Both of those sound good. It might be kind of rough to get to. I should have paid more attention to where which one was. Um. The MP5 How do you mark? From Sidorovich, you say? So, Come you know about the commander too? Alright, I'll be straight with you. We used to cooperate with the army. They'd allow us to transport goods safely through the outpost and let us in on some useful information. We paid well for their services. But then we found out that jerk of a commander worked for both sides. He supplied the bandits with our whereabouts. Then he went and sold two of our guys as slaves at the garbage. That was the last straw. Yeah, I guess we got a little carried away. Can't figure out what to do now. We're holding the commander hostage, which is a kind of guarantee that the army is not going to bomb our asses back to the Stone Age with their choppers. We can't kill him, but we can't let him go either. This sly son of a bitch knows that we need him alive and is not caving in a damn inch. Trouble is, He's the only one who knows where the loot is hidden. If we don't deliver that loot to Sidorovich, he won't do business with us ever again. If we could only make this army best and play by our rules, it would be a whole different ball game, believe me. Alrighty. I have to go make friends. Disappointment. Go back to your beloved zone. My boys are gonna 
obliterate your pathetic posse soon enough. And as for your ringleader, reach so everyone can see what you get for messing with the military. Really? Hmm. And how much would you charge for your service? Uh, what if I ask you to help out my boys by picking out those snipers at the railroad bank? Get lost and stay lost. So I wonder what actually happened between this game and Clear Sky that um, the power balance and the corn suddenly changed and there's like no. So did you again. learn anything useful? Of course they'll save him. The rat bastard owes them a whole bunch of dough. He ran their operations on his own and stashed the cash away somewhere. Listen. I've got an idea. The commander's got only two men he can count on. They serve together at the outpost and he cut them in on the deals. So they'll do whatever they can to get him out. If we dispose of them, the bastard will realize nobody's coming for him. He'll crack and we'll beat out of him the location of the stash with the loot. We split the money and Sidorovich gets the case. What do you say? I have this feeling we won't have to look for them. Khaletsky's buddies are wandering around. I go kill it again. I feel like most of this would be fairly easy to do. I'm mostly kind of like worried about the, uh, the red forest and what's the other place called? This is not a really hard place to go through. I don't exactly know what it's called anymore. Oh, the hospital. Good work. The military squad has been taken care of. We spotted their second squad at the depot. Merc, head on over there. Let me quickly um, take care Everything's of all under the control. Location captured. Here. 
Pick up the AKS 70 for you because I do have this thing already. That's what I want. Then the grenades. Um, good, and I'll pick up the med kits. Oh, no, I didn't. Back to the commanders. Um, I'm gonna go but first. I need to check out how much I have. Okay, I have 40 kilograms, so I think I'd be able to walk over to that stash over there, pick up whatever's in there. It, that might be the shotgun upgrade, but I'm not entirely sure. If it's not done, great. Magnum slugs on some boars. Yeah, I'll also, um, <laughs> maybe I should do some Magnum slugs. This is kind of nice because it makes you th like doing some uh, run like this makes you think more of like how do I utilize this weapon as much as I can like making sure sure you have different ammo types like this kind of does the same or it's like make sure you have different ammo types just have several guns ready in case one of them breaks down sooner than expected. I'm gonna check some energy drinks and quickly something. Yes, and it counts as a pistol. Good gun. I mean, I like the MP5 in general. I'll switch to the hollow points for this one. One of the shotgun now. I know, I think I like the color of Pripyat 
system where you can have two like primary weapons, or like I'm a weapon here. you want in either slot. But I'm also a big fan of having um, like one slot for small weapons and the other one is for long guns. Like I do like that. Like both of them have their fun parts. Like Frippia gives you more. Um, flexibility in your setups, like you can just carry a shotgun and assault rifle anywhere and be covered for 90% of um, your engagements. Unless it's with uh, viewers. Even then, with viewers, you can just slap a um, grenade launcher attachment. See what being stubborn gets you? Your friends are dead and you're assault still rifle. here. No one's coming to save you. Tell me where you hit the case. Tell you, bastards, it's at the old mill under the roof. Would you look at that? The little shit cracked like an egg. <laughs> the stash coordinates are in your PDA. Take what you find to Sidorovich, he's waiting. Okay. And then in Shadow Chernobyl and Clear Sky with the small piss. Okay, vanilla it's pistol long and like mods change it quite a bit of course but I thought it was kinda cool to just have a pistol like a sidearm and main weapon like it kinda made you also play different I suppose like more careful in a way. You could have to look at the situation and just kind of pick out your weapon before you go in instead of being able to switch right when you're uh, getting surprised by a mutant, for example. Is it this one? We take those. Ooh, I just thought of another, like, probably pretty horrible place that's coming up. I don't know when it's coming up, but, um, the little lab near duty is gonna be horrendous. I'll take that. I know we can talk to him and just he's no okay. Shoot him on sight. Oh, those are beers. I thought those were energy drinks. Oopsie. I'll go do that in a bit. Exocycles will be nice for stance locations at least. Okay, so just that one and that one. So you got Thanks for returning the case, Merc. Now I can settle up with my client. The reason I've survived in the zone as long as I have is that I always keep my word. You screw a client in this place and you're pretty likely to find a knife in your back real soon. Anyway, enough about me. About your stalker, he was here. 
His name is Fang, and he was looking for tube amplifiers and some other electronic crap, but I'm not an expert in that sort of thing. I sold him the amp, but I didn't have the other stuff he was after, so I told him to visit the diggers at the garbage. Recently, some stalkers at the garbage have dug up old buried equipment from after the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, and now the place is filled with all kinds of ancient components. Look for him there. And remember, if you want to trade, then I'm your man. If you need anything else, you're always welcome here. Okay, sell you. Hello, anyone home? Yes, I'm selling you stuff, my guy. I'm sad I can't get him more. I get in front of him. Come more, on, tell me what you got for me. Good luck. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Go do that over there first. Um, double barrel probably be best. gonna be annoying. Smash them out of not their work. Alright, at least it did it, I guess. Kinda stupid. I wasn't expecting to die that fast. Go 
we'll see how bad it be to uh pick up this stash. Oh, there's a mat kit there too. That that'll be worth it. I can't really, unless I take out maybe the whole little two bays that I can go grab it. But and I'll just pass. Gucci here. Maybe eventually I'll uh, also try playing this. I do want to play some different story mods for Call but maybe eventually I'll try the soup mods. I want the soup mods. Sounds like a Fenbex front end streamer I watch. He's having a pretty good time with. Uh, okay, I don't know if he's having a fun time with it, but. Been at it for a while and seems interesting at, le at the very least. Money. At least amount of money for stashes, at least. So I think I'll do the small um, story part here, and then um, then I'll go over to the garbage. This game looks beautiful, though. Yeah, that guy looks like he has his hands above his head, so I'm not gonna shoot at him. Can't come out there, which helps. I don't really shoot the barrel either. <laughs> I'll take that. Our inside looks kind of wonky, but still, it's the it's not per se better, but at least it's um, pump action shotgun. Shotgun ammo.
Not by 18, right? I'm gonna give him my uh my good as well. Also how Okay, I don't really need to waste my repair kits on these either yet, because they are in really good condition. All things considering. This might be uh pretty sizable one. I am having a lot of fun so far with this run. You know it's only um it's only been an hour at most. Or an hour and a half at this point. I'm having fun with this kinda like playing through clear sky but also not just beelining it towards certain weapons, like I'll just go buy this weapon and repair this weapon. It's just kinda interesting to pick different options for weapons. I think that will make, um, I do gotta, gotta kinda think about more challenge runs for the historic games. I have some challenges for the free play mods that'd be kinda fun to do, but still need some more for the story, the actual storyline games. So if anybody's watching this and you have any suggestions, let me know. But, uh, love to hear some ideas of like kind of hard but also still doable ones like hard but not tedious i guess that's the way like not as tedious as doing the game with only macro because then certain enemies take five minutes to kill i i don't even know how long a pseudo giant took to kill but it's, it's a little long. It'll be nice to just kind of like intertwine this with Dark Souls for both Twitch and YouTube. So I'll probably be um, working on some Dark Souls very soon here. I'm doing only one bonfire run, which is the easier version of. Just going back to the corn for the Luffy Bills, I'll take that to sell. Yeah, it's kind of the easier version of no bonfires, which I'll probably also eventually do, but for now it's like... I still get to level and pick up some strong weapons at least. Kind of treat it almost like a... Um, Permadeath and more. Yeah, that'll be uh, interesting to do. Fun, I hope. Hopefully it won't take me that long. Because after that I'll probably uh, play Mother Dark Souls 1. After Clear Sky I'll probably do a chance run for Call of Pripyat. But I don't know which... It might be with Misery but I don't know what challenge I'd want to do yet. Unless I just do like... A basic ass... Um, Playthrough with misery. Okay. So we are done here. I'm gonna pick up whatever stashes I can still find along the way. And uh, then we will be heading to. Man, so what are you after? And that will also be the end of the recording for now. I'll tell you a little bit of this ammo because I do have so much of it. Okay, I don't know if I keep looking. Don't be shy. What brings you here? I'll set up at some point here. Um. I can go check it out, but I'm kind of worried because that's gonna be. 
magged up in the middle of that anomaly. I forgot, do they have emissions in this game? Okay, I can sell it for a lot, so the stake goes. Come on, spill the beans. I'm gonna get the others stage there, because that'd be too risky, but I don't like. One backup med kit. That's a good start for me. One biggest advantage between this and the um, double barrels. Okay, I'm also missing a lot of my shots there. I think I got actually me. Now I can make a run for it. Now I can make a run for it. So that's kind of dangerous. Could have been a waste in med pack. But I think of like I know of myself that I kind of play these a little too um, aggressive usually when I can just get whatever supplies I need. So <laughs> playing with very limited med packs is um, is also kind of fun. So again, it also switches your place all around a little bit. Otherwise, we'd be like, all right, I can just like keep resetting until I don't lose too much like health and med kit here. Now, with the challenge in general, I'm more like, okay, I'll just see how this goes. If I mess it up and I su survive, then this is something I'll have to deal with later. I'll see later if it's still, like viable. Everything's under control. Location catching. Yeah, I think that was just like a fourth eighteen or something. So I'm not really gonna go for that one. I think I might just go to the garbage. I'm pretty good for now. gonna be anybody in the building up there. Hey goblin, what's new over there? The army were machine gunning somebody just now, only they don't go far out of their base because they're too afraid. Well, keep me posted. Stammer, we can do a little bit. 
Hmm. We have bison wood without stock in the thing, and then we have the wood stock outside of the thing. Stop pressing L. Uh, yeah, I will go to the garbage and then. The next time I start recording, we can take care of the next part of the game. We'll be garbage your and then hey, we might stop have a thing in my balls. Things are bad, that's right. On site. They can give you money. I don't even know if they asked money to go to a boat. Position capture. Oh, see, I helped. I completely didn't. I, I didn't do that at all. Just to dunk on some bandits. There's a lot of ammo in these spots as well, which is nice. Also, there's only two guys, so they've really probably been fine anyway. I've been as a bit Well, thank you. Sure. Sure, whatever. I don't really need that, um. Aki anyway. Like, at worst, he might have had a meth kit, so it's fine. Oh, bandits are still neutral to me. Well, probably not going to be neutral to me for long. I was at the rule that I shoot them on sight. Actually, no. I'll just like try to go past them for now. I don't know if it might actually fuck up the story or not. Um, so I will continue this next time I start recording, which might will probably be somewhere like middle next week or this afternoon, depending on if I feel like doing this or Dark Souls. But uh, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, just let me know in the comments.